We all want to take this four-lane highway, but we always step over the shovel. All I did was pick that shovel up and make my own path. David Goggins. Hi, my name is Damar on Austin. My mom was an alcoholic, so, you know, coming from that and, you know, having to live with that, as well as her abusive boyfriend, you know, it, it, it took a toll on me. So, you know, as growing up, you know, you see a lot of abuse. And, you know, I think when I turned about 13, you know, you know, uh, an event happened that uh, caused a lot of, you know, switch, switch offs and everything. So, you know, that's when I was 13, you know, I went, we ended up moving with my aunt and uncle. Family's always been there for me, uh, you know, even through the times when I was younger. You know, they've always, you know, just pushed me to just stay that happy, happy kid I was. And they've, they've really up brought me by, you know, helping me and praising me and just, you know, showing me that there is somebody out there who loves me. He was my favorite cousin. He was my favorite cousin. We come from a very large family. So we, me, him, and one of my other cousins were like our own little group. He's very family oriented, I think. He loves hanging with his cousins and his brothers and his sisters. He enjoys just being around people. I think he's a people person. Well, growing up, he's had, he's had a rather tough life. So he has drive now to be someone and make something of himself because he's got dreams and goals to be better than the environment he's grown up in. Sports was like a reliever. It was like pain medicines, basically. I, I got to be a part of a team and, you know, it helped me to like understand that, you know, can help me, you know, show that I'm loved. And then, you know, that there is like people around me who really and truly want to help me. And I mean, that's, it just built me up. It was, it was just something that I could stand on a platform. So when I first met him, he was a lot younger. He was in junior high, probably. And he's grown a lot since then. He's very emotional as a little child. And uh, he's grown a bunch into being where he can handle himself. And he's able to control those emotions. And he's able to help all the kids around him. So Demarion has become a very hard worker. Uh, he's a big self-starter. Like when we come out to practice, he'll get out there. He'll get himself ready. He'll get going. And then once it's time to you know, do the actual work and all the running and stuff, He's on top of it. He's always encouraging all the other teammates, and he's he's always ready to go. Uh, we basically, uh, you know, we grew up together because our moms are like twins, and basically just, like formed like a brotherhood together. Uh, he's a really hard worker. He, uh, he unfortunately he's had a lot of injuries, but uh, he's trying in every way to get back and be better than ever. Well, injuries, you know, kind of set me back most of the times. You know, knowing that, you know, it could be my last my last snap or last race anywhere, you know, they, it really, you know, hurt me at a time. But, you know, those setbacks is what helped me to create myself, you know, create a stronger and better me. Uh, it helped me to understand that, you know, things are going to come into life and, you know, you can't stop it, but you got to persevere through it and just keep pushing. One time whenever I was thinking about quitting sports, he came to me and he talked some sense to me and showed me what it would be like if I quit sports and I didn't really like that. So then he started working with me and he got me back into it to where I like the game again. You know, when I was growing up, you know, I had someone there who was a cop and his name was Doug. And he taught me the ways of, you know, life and he showed me, you know, how to, how to you know, just live and become, uh, you know, just a, a happy and, you know, helpful individual. And, you know, he, when he helped me, you know, I, I thought about it. And, you know, since then, you know, I've thought about being a cop and becoming one of those who I could, you know, go just suit up and go, uh, you know, shoot baskets with some little kids or, you know, throw the football around and do that, be interactive more with the, with the community that I live in. You know, I don't know what college I want to go to, but I plan on going for pre-law and criminal justice, uh, just, just, so I know, just so I could learn my basics before I go into the academy and, you know, just helping other kids around and, you know, being a supporter for everyone else. Everyone comes to a point in their life when they want to quit, but it's what you do at that moment 
that determines who you are. David Goggins.